Hello, and we are here at AWS reInvent Live, and we're going to be going over a few questions regarding data historians. I have my coworker here, Ben, and let's go ahead and get started. So, Ben, first things first, the big question, what is the difference between a data historian and a time series database? Yeah, the big question. The big um, one. So, a, a historian is a solution which is um, more tailored towards industrial automation and, automation and process control. So, it's typically an end-to-end -end solution which incorporates lots of features that tackle that one kind of, I guess, customer use case. Um, whereas a time series database is more of a general purpose database, you know, it's, it's built to handle any data with a timestamp and doesn't necessarily just apply to IoT, but it's becoming really widely adopted in that space. Can you explain why a time series database would be adopted for people already using data historians? Yeah, sure. So it's really like a buy versus build question. So I guess where historian customers previously had a solution, you know, it was off the shelf, it really nicely integrates with their, like their OT network. And now what we're seeing is that customers that want that added flexibility and agility associated with a cloud solution, they're going more towards that kind of build area. So perhaps there's features that a historian doesn't have or they want you know, the cost efficiency associated with building their own solution. So now what they can do is focus on having a time series database either on-prem, in the cloud or both. And now you know, they've got access to that wider ecosystem, just allowing to really accelerate that innovation that they can have around building features and capabilities. Makes a lot of sense. Now, do you have any customer case studies you could go over where this is you know, a full in play? Yeah, of course. Um, so one customer that I'm working with quite directly at the minute is Terraga Solutions. So Terraga Solutions are the creators of IOBase. So it's a cloud-based historian and they developed it for exactly the reasons that I described, right? So what they did is they had a look at the market and they realized that it was going to be quite expensive for them to use um, a traditional historian solution. And they basically wanted the flex added flexibility to be able to develop their own. So what they've done is developed a piece of hardware called the Inderbox, which allows them to get data out of their industrial plants in a one-way approach. So kind of solving customers that might have a little bit of hesitancy around that firewall access integrations between the OT and the IT network and get that data into the cloud so that they can integrate you know, with the wider ecosystem. So IOBase is the name of their cloud-based historian and Inderbox is the device that gets data out. Awesome. And just to clarify, is InfluxDB powering the underside of that? Yeah, that's right. So InfluxDB is the underlying storage here. So the data kind of persistence layer in that platform, um, whereby they've developed additional capabilities on top of InfluxDB typically associated to a historian solution, like an asset framework solution and you know the ability to draw process diagrams and things like that. And just to be clear here, the underlying storage solution is Influx, correct for them? Yeah, yeah that's right. So uh, InfluxDB is the data persistence layer, whereby they've developed a lot of capabilities on top of that as part of their IO-based platform, which are really associated to features that you'd find in a traditional historian. Things like an asset framework uh, and the ability to draw process diagrams and things like this. So um, yeah, they're really interested in allowing other customers to use their cloud-based historian. So uh, if, any, if anyone's interested in it out there, please reach out. Awesome. And yeah, these are just one of many awesome customer use case stories that we hear about. And if you have any, go ahead and let us know what you are doing with InfluxDB.